What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can sound vintage in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Okay, so just before I get into this video, I'd like to mention that this is our requested tutorial. I got this asked me yesterday in yesterday's video. So with that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Ask me on Skype, ask me on Twitter, ask me wherever you like, and I'll be sure to make the video for you as soon as I can. Okay, so if you'd like to get the video to look old as well, go down in the description. I'll put a link to this video where I'll show you how you can make it look old. So I've got a clip here, which is from yesterday's video, and this is what we're going to be turning into a vintage sound. Okay, so this is really simple to do. Now, the first thing I've actually added for you is a flashback a sound effect, which is a harp. It's going to be our media fire. It'll look like this. All you need to do is come here and click download. Okay, we'll keep it at 10 seconds. I don't want it to go on too long. And yeah, so you can make a really long video and it can all sound vintage or you can make a really short one. So the time does not matter. Whatever the length of your video, it can all sound vintage. So the first thing you want to do is come here and click this right here, the event effects. And that is on the audio, not on the video track. From there, you want to come to Resonant Filter. Now, from here, this is where you basically play around. So, I have this preset set up. However, it might not be for you. This is just a simple thing that you can use as a starter, because this is what it should look like. The frequency at the lowest, resonant around three quarters, and the wet or dry, 100%. Then, the filter type has to be high pass, and the filter order has to be second. Now, obviously, everyone's voice is different, so this might not sound the best for you, it might not sound the best for me. So if we go ahead and play this. Okay, so this is really simple to do. Now, the first thing I've actually added for you is a flashback of sound effect, which is a harp. It's going to be our media fire. It'll look like this. All you need to do is come here and click download. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and play through with this, and this is the exact same thing you have to do. Just play through it, mess with the frequency, mess with the resonance, and just leave the other stuff the same. And that is how you make your vintage, so I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Okay, so I think I've finally finished it, I've made my vintage sound. Now, this is a frequency, resonance, wet or dry percent, which is for my voice. So, you can go ahead and copy them settings and see if it does work for you. It might not, it might, but you can go ahead and try that out. So, you can just go ahead X out of it, you're actually done. Now, just play the video and see if it sounds how you want it to sound. Okay, so this is really simple to do. Now, the first thing I've actually added for you is a flashback of sound effect, which is a half. It's going to be our media fire, it'll look like this, all you need to do is come here and click download. So you can tell from it, it is vintage, it's like an old walkie talkie or an old microphone, whatever you like. And it's really simple to do, it took about 5 minutes, if that, and yeah, you just got to work with the frequency and stuff, and it's really simple. So yeah, hopefully it is what you wanted it to sound like. Obviously, you can go ahead and play with the frequency and stuff a bit more, so you can get the best sound effect. So just spend some time on it if you really do want a good effect. And that's all you need to do. So you can say it's like an old microphone or an old walkie-talkie. However, it gives you a nice old vintage effect. So like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Ask me on Skype, ask me on Twitter, ask me wherever you like. And I'll be sure to make the video for you as soon as I can. So be sure to follow me on Twitter where I'll just keep you updated with what I'm doing and when I'm uploading. Also be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my gaming channel where I'll post four times a week. I just go ahead and play random games, it's pretty fun. And then finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, um, Peace.